and we're going to investigate clamping our work. We're going to use the vertical miller. So um, when we clamp our work on the vertical miller, we have to be really careful. We have to be able to hold the work securely. We don't want it to move. That's going to affect our tolerance and the accuracy, but it's also going to affect safety and the finish of the job as well. So let's have a look at some of the techniques we can use to make sure we clamp our work safely. Um, before I talk about the clamping, let's just look at the material we're going to use. So we're going to be using aluminium, which is a fairly forgiving metal. You know, it's fairly soft. Cutting speed for uh, aluminium, if you remember from turning, it's going to be north of 60 metres per minute. So we, you know, we can bring our feed rate up as long as we're using kind of coolants and uh, lubrication such as like light oils, paraffins and things like that. Uh, we should be able to cut quite a lot off aluminium fairly quickly. Not the same if you're dealing with steel and things like that. Right, let's have a look. There's our aluminium, but you, you're going to be putting this uh, sloped slot inside it, right? Or sloped profile, I'll call that, right? Um, now, you could use the machine vise, which is connected to the bed of the machine. It's fastened in there and bolted in place. And if you're using some packing material underneath your job there to make sure that stays entirely flat, then that would be a, quite a good way of, of doing that. What we have created for you is some jigs. So when you're working on your pieces, this actually acts as a go-no-go -no -go guide as well. If it's the right length, that will fit in that gap perfectly. And that this jig here is going to act as a packing piece. There you are, that fits in. Look. And what you can do with that is drop it to the bottom of the machine vise, clamp your job up, and that will be level and the right height for the milling operation you need to do. So that's your, that's your quickest way of doing it, really. When you're doing your sloping pieces that you need to mill, this jig here is designed to hold your material at the right angle. So when you clamp this one into the vise, we're going to be using it like this. So that piece goes in to the vise flat and your job sits at the correct angle so that you machine your work at the angle we're after. OK, so there's a machine vise, quite a simple and effective way of holding your job, very secure. Um, it's probably the way you, sh you should think about doing it. It's clamped permanently. It can be removed if you've got a bigger job to put up on the milling machine. The other thing I can point out to you now is it's got a kind of protract of the work to the side here. You can loosen and you can use it to spin your workpiece around. We haven't got one in school, but there is a thing called an indexing table, which you can use to rotate a job. You don't rotate it so much as you're milling, but if you wanted to put slots uh, going along radiuses onto a circular section, that's what you need to use. Right, let's have a closer look at the bed of the milling machine because you will notice that there are slots that run along the length of it and those are for T-bolts, okay? So if you want to do T-bolt slotting on this machine, what you're going to do is you're going to get a bit of studding. So this is M12, 12 diameter studding. You put a T-bolt on the end of it, you'll, you'll be able to slide inside those channels. So our direct clamping kit, you know how it works, hopefully. You'd get your job. Let's just say, for example, I want to work on some round bar. I might be able to use an uh, engineer's V-block. I could use this bar and I could drop that onto my direct clamping kit. And I would be able to clamp that down with a, with a nut. And uh, I could clamp a circular section here and do some direct clamping onto my job. So direct clamping drawbacks, it's going to take quite a while to set up. But uh, on the plus, plus side, you have uh, got very accurate, um, uh, secure clamping and nothing's going to move you sure of that. So there's clamping your work when you're using the vertical miller. It's things to think about.